in this section you're going to talk about uh, the breeding cycle in dairy cattle and um, we need to understand some of the terminologies that uh, are always used. Um, a normal breeding cycle basically defines the time from when a cow calves down to the time when it will calve again. And this is always uh, described as a period uh, between calving as the intercalving interval, as we will be able to see in our chart here. Um, during the breeding cycle, we also have what we call the gestation period. And this is the period um, um, that uh, a cow remains um, from conception um, to the time the cow uh, calves down. And normally for uh, cattle, it is always a period of nine months. Uh, we also have uh, a period where the animals remains in lactation, which we call the lactation period. And for dairy cattle, we have um, a standard length uh, with which a cow should remain in milk uh, before the next uh, 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 breeding cycle. Uh, normally for dairy cows, the standard uh, lactation length is an average of 10 months, uh, between 10 months and um, 12 months, which is uh, 305 days to uh, 365 days. But uh, the standard lactation length is 305 days, which is uh, an average of, uh, of 10 months. Uh, within this period, um, the farmer uh, ought to have um, observed the animals uh, properly to make sure that they conceive <coughs> at the right time <coughs> to enable the cow to give birth uh, within the right time in the next uh, breeding cycle. Um, and normally, a farmer will uh, uh, serve the animal um, after two months uh, from the time the animal uh, calves down. We also have the dry period, which uh, is the period uh, with which the cow uh, will remain um, uh, dry uh, before uh, calving down. And during this period, uh, as I will explain, is a period when the cow rests and feeds and is a period used to rehabilitate the, uh, 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 the, the rumen so that the cow is in a position again uh, to calve down and to, uh, uh, to, be, to start being milked. Now looking at this chart here, we are able to um, group the breeding cycle into a number, a number of portions. And um, uh, right here we have um, uh, milk production. Now at the start of a lactation, that is at the start of um, a normal breeding cycle, animals uh, will, will calve down and start being milked um, over the entire lactation period. And um, during the start, the milk production will gradually increase for the first towards the second um, uh, uh, section of the lactation, that is uh, within the, the mid-lactation. Uh, from that point, uh, the production uh, will, uh, with good management and feeding, the production will remain relatively high um, uh, towards the, the, the eighth month. And in the last uh, quarter, where we have the late lactation, the production will gradually uh, go down uh, because the cow should be prepared to dry before it um, gives birth in the next breeding cycle. So we have the early lactation, the mid lactation, and the, the late lactation. Now during this period, um, there are a number of things that happen to the cow. Um, and it's important for a farmer to note uh, at what period would um, he or she need to uh, give certain feeds to the animal uh, because that is what the animal uh, should require and utilize uh, over the lactation period. Now, at the start, um, the animal uh, will be converting a lot of body reserves 
uh, into milk. Uh, at the uh, uh, initial lactation, the animal will be converting uh, body reserves to milk. And that's where, we, and that's actually why we have um, lots of production uh, from the initial start of the lactation. And um, therefore, that means uh, the cow will need to uh, be fed on good energy feeds, um, uh, protein feeds, and, and minerals to uh, balance up what is being converted from the uh, body to, uh, to milk. Um, towards uh, the mid-lactation, uh, we'll also notice that uh, the feed ratio in proportion of energy, uh, for, for energy, protein, and minerals should be uh, given adequately to the animal because this is the time the cow is expected to uh, uh, produce more milk and also maintain uh, the body uh, weight because it will have uh, relatively uh, come down uh, or, or gone low over uh, th that period. Now, towards the late lactation, if the cow had been served after two months or towards the, three, the third month, uh, that means the cow will be pregnant and the calf will be growing up um, and that means they, they'll need that uh, the cow uh, is given enough minerals and during this uh, lactation uh, the, uh, part, the cow should receive enough minerals um, and proteins as opposed to uh, the energy uh, feeds. Um, towards the end of the lactation, when the cow has been dried, it is important that the farmer now prepares the cow towards calving. And the drying period normally lasts, should last for 60 days. That is a period, a span period of two months. And during this period, the weight of the cow will start going up. And this is because the calf will be growing. And uh, at this time, the cow has to be fed on um, uh, good quality energy feeds, um, hay and uh, other uh, solid feeds. Uh, the cow needs to be given enough concentrates which will give uh, uh, proteins to enable the growth of the animal. And at this time, the cow will also need a lot of minerals such as calcium to enable the uh, uh, growth of the uh, the, 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 the calf and at the same time replace the minerals that are being uh, uh, utilized in the body uh, in preparation to the calving that is expected at the end of the, the 60 days. So the standard dairy uh, cow uh, breeding cycle will look like this and the farmer has to be aware at what stage is this uh, animal uh, at to prepare enough feeds to prepare themselves in uh, in raising that animal towards that uh, towards the end of the lactation, so that the animal is able to give enough uh, milk, and also uh, assure the farmer that he will be able to get a calf every year uh, in every breeding cycle.